Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I thought I'd give you guys a quick update. I uh, just finished this new reloading bench. Um, and I also got some inline fabrication stuff. So I'm um, going to do my first loading on here today and my daughter's going to help me out. A uh, quick overview of the bench. I took the bench top design from um, from Wranglestar. He has a, um, a build series on that where he uses threaded rod. I even took his uh, walnut uh, dowel idea and capped off the uh, threaded rod or ready rod. Um, so on the back it's still open, lock tight of the rod in the front so if that ever starts to get some cracks in it I can um, I can tighten it up. Uh, what I've got on the legs here I did a, a Morrison tenon uh, with wedges. Uh, it turned out really nice. I like how that looks. Kind of nice little accent on there. Uh, the bottom where my kids like to play here um, this is a uh, drawn mortise and tenon, so I actually just ended up laminating three two by sixes together and then throw them through a planer. Um, and then on the tenon, I just left the uh, middle two by six a little long and I could cut the tenon out of that. And it worked out great. Um, so these, uh, the drawn mortise, basically you just pound in your, your dowels and it'll actually suck it in just because your, your uh, tenon has offset holes off, offset by about a sixteenth and it'll uh, suck it in so it cleans up your joints pretty nice uh, and then I just finished it with uh, boiled linseed oil um, but yeah that's just about it I, not too much to say there the um, inline fabrication stuff uh, what I ended up doing with this I, I wanted it to be a true flush mount so I routed it in did a terrible job I mean you can kind of see I messed up there and my edges aren't perfectly clean but they're not terrible um, they'll work I might tape this off and fill it in with some wood filler um, but like I was saying I wanted it to actually be flush um, so what I did was I just set it all the way in and I drilled holes I countersunk everything um, so these uh, I got these actually aftermarket the original ones I made uh, I'll throw a picture up but the original ones I made just a little bit shorter um, but this is just a knob, it's a uh, quarter 20 um, thread, and then I got a quarter 20 uh, threaded rod there, and I just, it was a six inch section, I cut it down to about three and a half, and then I threw a coupling nut on there, and it works great, really cheap. Um, first one I welded the nut on, uh, but I ended up using red Loctite, that worked really great. But yeah, um, I'm super excited about this, I mean even just with one in there, this press just is rock solid, it does not move at all. Um, I've been playing with it, uh, with the scale to see if it'll bump the scale with it on the same table and so far the scale's been holding up okay, it hasn't been changing numbers on me or um, throwing the scale off. So I may end up getting a granite slab or building another uh, section of bench that is separate from this wall if I end up having some problems. Um, but yeah, that's all there is to it. Um, I also did just get the Anelis in yesterday, so I'll have to be playing with that. Alright, well, uh, sorry for any background noise. This is going to be the first rounds I've loaded on here. Um, I'm going to run my 23.1 grains. Um, uh, 48.95. Um, I'll have to show you guys this load. I'll have to tweak it a little bit here just because I've got some new batches in. Um, but I'm more curious right now to see how this press does. It shouldn't wiggle at all. Yeah, even if I'm leaning on it here, it's not moving. Um, there you go, first one on the bench. <laughs> 